All right. Insider NJ is joined today by Assemblywoman Berlina Reynolds Jackson. And we're very happy to have this opportunity to talk with you, Assemblywoman, because you have been a leader on the Voting Rights Act that mm -hmm. remains stalled in the legislature. And I just wanted to ask you a little bit about how you got involved in this. I've read somewhere that you were a poll worker, but yeah. what, why is this an important issue to you, this, this issue of voting rights? You know, it's about access. Um, really, it's a, you know, Max, this is just a part of my DNA. I, my two parents, my mother and my father, they grew up in the, the 50s and the 60s where uh, voting rights was very, very important. My father is a Vietnam War veteran and my mother is a union organizer, woman activist. And so, you know, voting was always important to us. And because I've had the experience of being a poll worker, I understand the challenges sometimes that people face when they try to go exercise their right to vote. You know, that's their constitutional right. Um, whether the polling place changes, um, whether it's in a hot condition, whether, um, you know, sometimes poll workers don't have the necessary tools that they need. Um, these are all things that disenfranchise the voter. And so we, I pay a close attention to making sure that we can be on the preventative end and not reactive. And so this to me is being proactive, making sure that we protect the democracy that we have here in New Jersey. This discussion in New Jersey comes against the backdrop of national, urgent national conversations in a presidential election year. And we see uh, Georgia, where the president of the United States attempted to reverse a, a, an election and, and other uh, very uh, strong pieces of evidence of election tampering and election fraud. Uh, to what extent is your New Jersey effort related to the national scene, particularly in a presidential election year? Well, you know, what we want to do with the Voter Rights Act is to codify our laws, right? We want to codify and expand them and make sure that we all have access. And if there's a problem, there is a way that we can fix the problem. How, what recourse do we have? How can we go through the proper legal channels to make sure that the voter is not disenfranchised and that they are able to exercise their right to vote? And so we see how other states are, are changing their laws, making it illegal for you to get water while you wait online, like really silly things. Um, in New Jersey, again, we're very proactive. And I think by us codifying those laws and expanding them, protecting the right to vote is really making us a leader um, and for other states to follow us. There's a provision in the act, Assemblywoman, which sets up a pre-clearance program right. uh, whereby a, a, a municipality or um, a, a, a polling place that has a history of perhaps some kind of prohibitive behavior has to prove why they're not allowing a person to vote. Could you elaborate on that a little bit? Well, you know, we're working very closely with the AG's office because that's right now technically where it has to go. But you can't be judge and jury, right? So we need to make sure that we separate the two. And right now, everything falls under the attorney general's office. All of the county um, um, elected officials fall under there. And if a voter right now has an issue, they too. But I think we're, we're trying to work around some ways to, to make it separate, like we do the public defenders. Um, and so that it becomes, you know, fair for us. And I think we're almost there, Max. I think we're there. Uh, we just have to, again, go through some of the line by lines to make sure that everybody is protected um, and access is granted. Your colleague, your slate mate, in fact, in the 15th district, talked with insider NJ earlier this week, Assemblywoman, and uh, Senator Turner wants to reintroduce this act as early as this week, as early as tomorrow, January 25th. Thanks. Do you support that, A? And B, what seems to be the problem that this has been stalled since 2022? Do you foresee any hurdles going forward as you, if in fact you support reintroducing it? So I have reintroduced the bill and it's A904. And you're right, Assembly, um, Senator Turner is going to be reintroducing it tomorrow. You know, I thought 
um, language access was a big part of why we couldn't get this through. But I'm I'm wrong. I, I know I'm wrong because we just passed A3837, which uh, allows language access for vital documents uh, within state agencies. So I, I know that isn't the case anymore. Um, so we want, but again, I think we wanna make sure that because the Secretary of State's office was not inclusive of the bill, that we do that we do codify this, that, that we do pass the Voting Rights Act of New Jersey to make sure that we protect the voters' rights and and come and um, clear anything up in terms of the preclearance and making sure that there is a way for voters to have recourse if there's any problems that may arise. Notwithstanding your point about New Jersey being a leader. We can also hypocritically perhaps point the finger at the South or other parts of the country while uh, not seeing our own uh, inability perhaps to, to really safeguard voting. And do you sense that maybe part of this goes to a, a latent resistance by lawmakers to wanting to actually engage people in voting and, and re retain kind of uh, what Shirley, Senator Turney, Turner told me years ago, actually, um, a, a sense of wanting the cities to remain asleep so that, in mm -hmm. fact, uh, people do not come out and vote. I, I, you know, I look at the the laws that we passed recently for 17 year olds to participate in the um, elections in November. So I, I think there are we are trying to engage our younger people, um, youth in, in the voting process. Look at the city of Newark, where they just uh, passed a law for 16 year olds to participate in uh, school board elections. I think there is an opportunity for us to, you know, lay out why voting is important and re-engage folks. I think sometimes we get into that complacency, but we're so energized right now and we know what's on the line. We just wanna make sure that we expand and grow those territories um, that have fallen behind. And so that's what we're here for. We're here to encourage, to engage and to connect the dots with the voters and why it's important to exercise those rights to vote. Assemblywoman, is it your hope that should New Jersey pass this, that other states will follow the Garden State's lead, especially those battleground states in a presidential election year? Absolutely. You know, sometimes New Jersey, we lag behind, but we are a leader. And I think others will see us coming together um, as a democratic state that wants to protect democracy and that they too will be able to follow and be able to pass laws that will protect voter rights. Absolutely. What is your sense of uh, a constitutional amendment guaranteeing the right to vote at the, at the federal level? Yes, yes, yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, 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 yes. What about at the state level? I think the state level as well. I think we should do it. I think we should. What about detractors who might say, well, you're opening up the potential for chaos. In other words, now it becomes less and less, um, uh, less and less possible to, to truly identify those eligible 18 years and, and older who can constitutionally vote. Pardon me. <clears throat> well, you know, I think there's always going to be some opposition. Um, but I think, you know, again, I, I try to look, I try to find the win in everything, Max. And I think this win protects the voters, it protects our democracy, and we continue to engage people in why it's important to vote. And I think that's our responsibility. I think sometimes we haven't done, I know we haven't done a good job, but we're doing better and we have to keep forging forward. Assemblywoman, I appreciate your time on this issue. Is there anything else you're working on in this upcoming session that you want to let us know about? Well, I do want to say I want to be I'm going to be very optimistic that we're going to pass this Voting Rights Act early this year, early 2024. Um, and I look forward to working on a host of other things. Um, I'm working on some lead programs. I'm working on um, oral health care, of course, maternal health, um, food securities. We desperately need a grocery store here in the city of Trenton, name brands, uh, grocery store. So we have a plethora of needs. And so I look forward to speaking with you often. Um, and thank you for this opportunity, Max. Thank you so much, Assemblywoman. It's a great pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us today. And
Yes, I too look forward to talking to you about those issues and seeing you on the ground in the city of Trenton. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So